Hey guys, and welcome to another Blueprint. Uh, now that I've done all the tunes for the next three seasons, it's time to do some Blueprints again. Oh, yeah, and my arm's still killing me, and yay. Um, let's see, it is called Celica vs. Corolla. Uh, it's a dirt racing trail, A800, 74 Toyota Celica, or 74 Toyota Corolla. Uh, summer, morning, clear, 16.1 kilometers, roughly 7 minutes and 30 seconds in total. So, let's see how bad I do. And I've made a hysterical little Corolla. It is very, very angry at something. Not sure what it's angry at, but it's very angry at something. Uh, let's see. These are my settings. Goody, goody. Let's hop to it. And let me bring up the map here. There we go. It looks very complicated, and it sort of is. But, yeah. It's not that bad, actually. I'll probably screw up a few times, because it's been a while since I made this. And I'll be damned if I can remember half of this. So, this should be fun. This is one of those tunes where ooh, I may have given it a tad too much power. You know, compared to how much grip and how much the chassis can actually handle. Check out all the ways to the AI. Yeah, I have uh, gotten a hold of some, I'm not sure what it's called it in English. Directly translated, I think it's called Tiger Bomb or something like that. It's like this cream uh, that you uh, smear on and it develops heat. Lots of heat. So, half a... a, a a bottle or yeah jar of that on and then an elastic band on and or well bandage and it actually it actually makes it sort of bearable at least partially enough so that I sort of have my handbrake turned back now kind of some of the time at least I can sort of put my hand on the keyboard and use the handbrake key for about 30 seconds. Then I need to put the hand uh, behind my head for... What? I didn't miss anything. Did I? Oh, I did. See? Uh... 
Yeah, my bad. Uh, anyway, put the hand behind my head for a while, and that calms down the nerves, apparently. Ah, damn it, I'm sitting here sleeping. I... Yeah, it is complicated. But I do like to make rally tracks that involves the uh, the quarry because you can make all sorts of funky stuff and serious handbrake turns. The trouble is that I have the memory of or oh, the memory capacity of a hard drive from the 60s, so yeah, I keep forgetting the turns, which is nice, especially when I'm doing a video and trying to not look like a complete moron. But I see you like that uh, Goliath rally I did. I really thought I would have gotten a lot of negative response on that. I mean, 90 something kilometers. <laughs> I really didn't think that many of you had that kind of attention span. No offense, because I barely have that kind of attention span. Big turn. Coming up. Yep, there it is. Long grip, damn you. Admit, some sometimes when racing uh, in places I'm not used to racing, I mean the, the graphics look really good. Thanks to you guys. Come on. And when I finally figured out how to make Forza not rape my CPU. I had some serious issues. It was really trying to destroy my CPU. Uh, when I was uh, in the game, my graphic card would say, oh, yeah, I'm bored. And it would be at like zero to 2% load, which made no sense. But my CPU on the other hand was at 100% load which made no sense and then I found out why um, there's an option in Windows you can enable uh, schedule graphic something something uh, I'll show you after the race I didn't even know that option was there uh, and apparently if you have an i7 CPU it has a proper built-in graphics card in the CPU and Windows will just say oh I'm gonna use that and then you can look at your computer and say but 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 I have a very big graphics card down there can you use that nope I like the other one better and that's fucking annoying but when you turn this option on uh, suddenly it will use your graphics card and your CPU load will like go in half and we like that 
But let's get through this first. So, uh, the car I was using was the 1974 Toyota Corolla SR5. And I do realize both of these are prize cars, and if you don't have one, sorry. Uh, and the tune I was using was this one. There we go. Now, let me show you that option. Because it is extremely well hidden. What you do is, you go into your settings. Let's see if I can remember this. And system. And then on display. Yes, I have three displays. Two computer screens and a TV. Then down at the bottom, there's this little option. Graphic settings. And there it is. Hardware accelerated GPU shed scheduling. This is turned off by default. Turn that on, and ta-da! It's really silly. And, and I don't get why it's not turned on per default, but it isn't. And that's it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little blueprint and a guide to fixing your uh, uh, CPU usage if you're on an i7. Uh, modern i7, that is. Uh, anyway, don't forget if you use my tune or my track to like it and same goes for the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.